Hello everyone and welcome to the MGN channel. I'm your host Cornish and today we're going to be going back to horror games and one in particular game I've managed to get a hold of is Backroom's 1998 found footage survival horror game and today we're going to review it. The Backrooms 1998 is a first-person found footage psychological horror survival game where you play as a young team after accidentally falling into the depths of the backroom. Your objective is to uncover something in the backrooms, escape, and try not to get killed by the things that are in there. Easy enough as it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that the uh, person who is making this is only one developer, and it is very impressive from what I've played. And uh, I can tell you one thing though. I need new pants. I have never dripped so much from my pants that I was freaking out. Ah! What? Ah! I'm, no, I'm not playing this now. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm just Busty! done. It's been a while like that and for that i want to talk about the gameplay so right at the bat it has dungeon nightmares feel all over it and the fact that the game is very much a found footage style which i do like there is running in the game but it will attract much much noise not to mention that goddamn microphone I, I'm, I'm not even joking like that microphone oh if it hears you it will it will know you're about or anything whatever is in the back rooms no matter what you're doing in the game, even if you're peaceful, the game decided to go ha <laughs> ha over your uh, face with a jump scare uh, to make you have sounds. You can hide and you can run away from the creature that's lurking you in the game. Um, the creature which we encountered is from what my community has represented this monstrosity is Georgie from It. I know, it's, it's a bit weird. Uh, the other thing that completely scares the balls out of me is the fact that, like, there's these weird noises in the game and your VHS video camera will do this glitch and then out of nowhere it will jump scare you. However, with all these other jump scares, there are different styles of jump scares. There's like things peep around the corner, things that can like just be in your face. And there's things that, you know, do weird stuff. Even in hiding in lockers, it does weird stuff. There are many key items in the game, though. There are many key items in the game, though. There is a spray can, which if you decide to spray on the walls, it will help you uh, locate where you you are and where you're at. Because trust me, I got lost and I didn't mess around with it that much. But I now am learning that uh, I should be messing around with it quite a bit. Um, there are there are medicines in the game as well. So if you do, do get damaged and you're low on health, you'll find medicines around the game to heal yourself up. Uh, they're very scarce, so watch out. The visuals itself, if you turn off the visual effect, I don't think it will be that good, but having visuals on, it has that kind of very found footage Blair Witch vibe to it, so that's really good. With that being said, I'm going to bring over to this next segment because there's not a lot to talk about with the visuals. Uh, the, the sounds. The sounds, the ambience, is incredible. There are so many different levels, the horror of the feel, Oh, I'm out. 
with that being said, the overall. The overall of the game is very scary. And with the cheap jump scares, I feel like it was a bit too much. However, whilst playing through the game, even though I was expecting these ridiculous, silly scares, it still scared me due to the, uh, the increased volume. The visuals are amazing, the atmosphere is creepy, and it has a great vibe to all these backrooms uh, inspiration games. But the only thing I have a complaint about, there was just too many scares. Like, it wasn't just like, it didn't build its time. It literally just got you within like a, under, at least a record of two minutes or less. Now, don't get me wrong. The game gave me dungeon nightmares. Very much so. But I felt like it was pushed too hard with just these cheap jump scares and the constant jump scares. Getting chased by monsters is moderately okay. However, if he's right behind your tail and you find a locker or somewhere to hide, he will not even force the door open. He'll just stood there, look at it like a drip, and then walk off. Each environment, each sound, each area of what things look like are really cool. And, I, I, and again, it's been created by one developer in this uh, game. And he's continuing on working. And the fact it's only early access, I'm hoping to see a lot more and a finished title. So that's my review on the Backroom Games Survival... Yeah. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the subscribe button to help the MGN grow. We're going to be doing constant more reviews. I promise you, I'll keep you guys entertained and keep this base going. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon in the next video. You guys take care and have a wonderful, wonderful night.